It's a pleasure to be back here in Ohio. In the 1990s, I spent a lot of time in Ohio giving presentations on farmland preservation. It's very interesting that the Tecumseh Land Trust is partnering with the, the Center City organization here in Springfield because, as Jack Laurie, a former president of the Michigan Farm Bureau, put it, we can't save our farms unless we save our cities. And what we've been doing in the United States for the last 60 years is really running from our cities out into the countryside and converting some very, very important and productive farmland. So my purpose in being here is not to tell you what to do. This is your land. This is your community. These are decisions that you're going to have to make about your future. What I'd like to do today is share with you some of the experiences that I've had in farmland preservation that may be of interest and use to you. So let's look at the, the situation. What's the problem that we're dealing with with farmland preservation? Well, I mentioned the race to the countryside, and, we, and sprawl is, is often a problem. Today, we have 310 million people in the United States. By 2050, we probably will have 440 million Americans. Where are we going to put another 130 million Americans in just the space of 40 years? So here are some of the challenges farmers face. And those of you who are farming in the audience, what do you think? Profitability. You either want to be the low-cost producer. These are the applicants in the red. And you can see they're, they're getting to the point where they're starting to build you know, some of these blocks. And that's great to see. How farmland preservation really works, in my experience, is neighbors talking to neighbors talking to neighbors. And one neighbor says, hey, you know, I'll look at this program. If you'll look at this program, I'm not making any commitments right now. I'm, you know, I have an open mind. I'll look into it and see if it makes sense for my operation. And more times than not, when they come into it with that attitude, you end up with preserving large contiguous blocks. So I, I think obviously these people got excited because of these uh, preserved farms next door. Let's have a hand for Tom. Thank 